today. Um, Statistics Canada released the Crime Severity Index, and they do that annually. And the Crime Severity Index is just simply a way of looking at reported crime in Canada with a way of expressing how it actually impacts the community where it's observed. So it, uh, more serious offenses like uh, violent offenses are given more weight uh, than say property crime. And so by expressing it in numerically um, and comparing yourself to other communities, you get a sense that, uh, the intention is I guess you get a sense of how that crime feels within the community, how it impacts it. Uh, the the uh, data is expressed in regional forms, so um, they call it census metropolitan areas. So that is basically a community where there's a, a core population in, a, in an urban setting uh, of, of 50,000 people or more surrounded by a, another population, densely populated area, where the total population equals 100,000 people or more. So uh, Saskatoon is one of those uh, CMAs and there are 35 of them in Canada that we evaluate and look at uh, with this sort of data. So uh, generally the, the uh, Crime Severity Index for me uh, is most useful I think as a way of communicating what's been experienced in the, in the, in the area. Um, it's not that useful for resource allocation or planning because it's old data. It's data that we've had for six months now and, and but what I noticed this year I guess is that um, it's an opportunity for us to delineate uh, between types of offenses that are based or occur because of local conditions, local demographics, population, the experiences of our local community, and those that are seen either provincially or nationally as well. And a good example of that I think is the increase in sex crimes that have been reported across Canada. And we saw that here as well. So beginning in 2018 and then continuing into 2019 we saw an increase in reported offenses around uh, the different sexual offenses. And we were, you know, did our best to evaluate what, what was occurring there, why people were reporting. And as you can see from, from this data, the crime severity data, that that actually has been a national experience. And they attribute it to some of the uh, uh, movements, social movements, and, and uh, um, maybe the reduction in some barriers to reporting of things like the Me Too movement and uh, sort of a, an interest across Canada to support people reporting for those sites, types of offences. So we look at that as a bit of a success story. At least uh, we hope that our role in that has been a success story. Another um, trend that we noticed uh, that we, we experienced locally and was also experienced nationally was the increase in frauds. And so of course with that type of offence often it's uh, involving the internet or some sort of cyber uh, fraud where the offender might not be in the local community, they might not even be in Canada. And so regardless of where you are in the country, you might experience that sort of uh, increase in offending around cyber uh, crime. That has been our experience locally as well. Um, provincially what we saw, I guess, well first of all nationally we saw generally an increase in the crime severity index. And that's been happening now for four years in a row. We've seen the crime trends which were dropping uh, start to pick back up in the last four years. In Saskatchewan we saw it over the last about five years and so the, the nation is, is uh, following that trend as well. We attribute a lot of that to the prevalence of addictive drugs such as crystal meth. Certainly that's the experience in Saskatchewan and in Saskatoon. Uh, Two-thirds of the, of the CMAs in Canada reported an increase in their crime severity index in the last year. Um, however, provincially uh, the experience was was the opposite of that. We saw a 3% reduction in the crime severity index in Saskatchewan. And although they had uh, some a reduction in some of the prop some of the uh, violent crime like robberies, uh, that was balanced a bit by an increase, as I mentioned, in, in frauds and break and enters and that sort of property related crime. Locally in Saskatoon, in our CMA, the uh, crime severity was has been pretty much static over last year. We saw a slight reduction in violent crime, 2% reduction in violent crime, and a 1% increase in non-violent crime. So our increases, uh, our decreases, pardon me, in areas uh, that mirror the national trend, um, we saw increases in frauds, we saw increases in, in uh, sex offense uh, being reported, but we saw decreases in areas like robberies as well. Um, for the most part, our property crime has been has been uh, fueled by addiction-related offenses, so our break and enters and that sort of thing that are up. Again, as I mentioned, we believe that that's fueled 
through addictive drugs like crystal meth. So overall, uh, when you look at the ranking in Canada, uh, we're number four as, as a uh, census metropolitan area. Um, but that, I think, is um, reflective of a lot of where we are in the country. Uh, if you look at the top 25, top 24, I believe, of all cities in crime severity, uh, they're all in Alberta, British Columbia, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. They're all in Western Canada. Uh, we share a lot of the same challenges demographically. Uh, and so you'll see a lot of the offending patterns are same, the same across those areas and regions. So as a city in a, in a uh, uh, Western Canadian province, um, we know what our challenges are and uh, we do our best to apply resources to make sure that we can address those challenges with the resources that we have.